Welcome to the Biz Bros Podcast, everybody. Today we are joined by David Lindgren. He's a content creator out of Sweden, and we are very excited to talk to him and kick things off. How are we doing, David? I'm doing good. Awesome. Um, how are you? Oh, we're doing good. Thanks for being on the podcast. We're excited to uh, talk a little bit about what you have going on, as well as uh, yeah. kind of some of the things that you're working on yeah. here in the next year. Absolutely. Yeah. I think you're our first international guest. I do. Yeah, it's exciting. Oh, really? What, yeah. part of, what part of Sweden do you live in? Uh, in uh, Stockholm, but I'm oh. actually from the north of Sweden. So Okay. That's awesome. Oh, very cool. Well, Never what, been there. What time, is it, what time is it there? It's uh, 8 p.m. right now. Nice. All right. 11 a.m. here. Well, awesome. Well, cool. Well, let's, uh, let's jump in. So tell us a little bit more about yeah. uh, Sweden, where you're from, and, and kind of what you're currently working on. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I'm a content creator. I've been, uh, I'm mainly focused on video. Uh, I've been working as a video editor for a couple of years and now I've been freelancing for the last 10 months. So I'm still quite new into this uh, freelancing thing. Um, cool. But yeah, very interested in video and creating stuff and uh, having a a long-term goal of working for Gary Vaynerchuk in uh, New York. So Very cool. That's awesome. Yeah, that's nice. the short story. That's awesome. Right on. What uh, What made you get into, like, what is it about Gary Vee that, that you're so gravitated towards? Like, why, why would you want to work for him? Well, I, I realized a couple of years ago when I started working with video, because that was like a goal I had for a long time. And when I reached that goal, I realized that I needed something to strive for all the time. So I needed like a, a new goal to keep motivate, motivating myself. And I always wanted to, I always wanted to move to New York. That's one thing. And I always want to be around other ambitious and creative people. Um, and I feel like working at when I found Gary and and understood the the whole culture around Vayner Media and what he's communicating, what he's trying to to achieve, I just liked everything about it, and it just feels like a good atmosphere to to be in to develop even further as a creator. Absolutely, totally, hundred percent. I think Gary V is definitely one of the number one influential people that we yeah. we follow. He's I mean he's just raw and real and yeah he doesn't give a shit on what he says he yeah it's no, awesome right. and it's always the best exactly. advice when he's telling people and his books are amazing yeah we like we said earlier we're, we're massive gary v fans i think quotes yeah. uh, that he puts out revolve around our office on the daily yeah and just kind of some of the things that he says we really try to I emulate think, i feel like any entrepreneur that's part of the hustle culture yeah i mean he's shaped mm -hmm. yeah culture. that's like that's, gary, that's really so. what he's done so well, that's cool, really cool. So uh, in the pet, you said the, the past year you've been working on freelance. What type of freelance work do you specifically focus on? Do you focus on like commercial freelance, wedding, or? Um, I'm actually mainly working with a vlog here in Sweden. So it's kind of similar to to what uh, Gary's doing with his vlog. Um, so I'm following a entrepreneur here in Sweden and and doing vlog episodes for him documenting his days and his cool. his journey with his company um so that's that's cool kind of the, kind of the same uh, reason behind it also to like build yeah. a connection with the with the clients and potential clients and also potential employees at the company uh so yeah just a nice right. way of marketing i think yeah absolutely so, uh tell us a little bit more about that about that blog, what uh, who mm -hmm. are you following, and kind of what is his um, what what is his, his story? What is he working on? Yeah, so he's he uh, he's um, he started. I think he has had a couple of companies before, um, and then I think it's seven years ago now he started the company called Igo Moon in Sweden, and it's like. Um, it started like a web agency and it has grown into more like a digital marketing agency and he's basically documenting how that company is growing and like all the challenges he he's going through with that company and um 
I think we started in 2017. Okay, wow. Um, wow. So it's been, I think it's almost 200 episodes we're up to now. Yep. And there is like the the double amount of employees right now. When, and I think we have double the, uh, what do you say? The... Uh, like the money that you bring in every year yeah i lost the word revenue uh, revenue yeah yeah so uh, yeah so there has definitely definitely been a, a growth on the company and, and it's super interesting to just follow that and document yeah the journey and and see everything that it goes through that's awesome it's pretty cool <clears throat> um as as a creator as a freelancer you said you've been working with them since 2017 mm -hmm. Uh, as a as a as a freelancer and as as a videographer, how have you seen your growth change from 2017 to now? Like, what are the different things that you've seen, maybe both personally and mm -hmm. work ethic, but also maybe even just uh, in the video world? I know we have a lot of videographers and uh, content creators that listen here. What has yeah. you've seen evolve uh, in yourself and how you film and your style over the last three years? Mm -hmm. One big thing that I've seen is I'm actually a very introverted person yeah. and i feel like just by being close to to him and being in this like entrepreneurial world i kind of learned those skills that he has by like collaborating more and uh, being better at uh, sales and and communicating with other people and yeah that's awesome just those kind of things because i always had like this creativity and i always had this uh like willingness to to do and create stuff but just being able to communicate it in a good way and being able to get better at storytelling and stuff like that so yeah that's some some things that i've seen that's awesome. So can you expand a little bit about uh, Project Vayner? Like, how are you, like, what, what are the steps that you've taken so far? How are you trying to get kind of yeah. his agency and, and so forth? Yeah, so uh, I started this vlog, uh, Project Vayner, for I think it's two years ago now, yeah. uh, where I, I tried to publish a video every week uh, on my YouTube channel. And it's just a way for me to, like, push the limits for myself and try new things uh, within video creation mm -hmm. um, and it's been a lot of different type of videos I've done like unboxing videos and travel videos and tutorials and I think like f for me where where I was two years ago I just wanted to like try all the different things and try to find what type of content creator I want to be uh, and also during that journey just trying to collaborate more and reaching out to people that also like have goals that they strive for and other creators and trying to learn from them so I started doing these live episodes and taking in guests and asking questions and trying to to just grow not only with the content creation but also mm -hmm. like the the social aspect and, and growing my network and yeah yeah that's awesome well wow. that's pretty cool that's like a cool project very yeah any any luck i mean anybody like reached out i mean i know it's it's relatively early but has anybody on his team reached out to you or i'm sure you've been you know dming him in yeah to yeah so i have some contact with like a couple of people in garvey's team Cool. Uh, like via social media and mm -hmm. I've, I've tried to like reach out when I see that they need any help with anything I know DRock was was searching for someone to assist when they were in Finland once okay. um, he he told me he would check it uh, check it up and hmm. we couldn't solve it that time but uh, he still like uh, remembered my name and cool. uh, and checked it out so it'll work out it's got to put the energy out there and it'll work out it's exciting super excited yeah I, I i think just like the right opportunity will come as long as i don't like have one single road to follow just try mm -hmm. to 
try to, try to bring value all the time and trying to just do the stuff that Gary's team is doing with the content they are creating. Yeah, exactly. So what, uh, what kind of inspires you to keep pushing every day? Chasing the dream and then not in that. What, what is like your number one kind of motivator? Um, yeah, that's a good question. I don't know, actually. Uh, I think there's just something within me that I'm just curious and I like to see myself develop. Uh, and like no matter what it is i was playing ice hockey before like all my life and then i quit a couple of years ago and now i'm like going all in on video creation so just like being in that journey and trying to to get better every year is just something that really motivates me i that's, think that's really cool i think it's similar to us yeah it is it is we always, we always talk about passion and how we're fueled by Mm. The day day and, and pushing pushing our ourselves and the company so it's cool to hear that from you as well what um yeah. what is the a question i have for you what, what is at the root of filming what makes you what is like the drive behind why you like creating so much and like where did that spark come from um i've always been interested in like some kind of creativity and yeah. some kind of content creation uh when i grew up it was more towards graphic design and i thought until like eight years ago that i would be a graphic designer mm -hmm. and then it was actually a it wasn't planned that i was going to start with this uh, vlog for uh, matthias that i'm doing <laughs> so um he I did an internship at his job and I did an internship as a web developer actually uh, yeah. because I, when I was applying for work in graphic design, they often asked me if I could do web development as well, uh, which I couldn't. So I took that education just to get like a wider base to stand on and have something to build on. So yeah. like... It was like a sidetrack to to become a graphic designer. But then when I did that internship, he asked me if I wanted to help out with his vlog. So that's how I actually came into videography a couple of years ago. And then I just felt more and more that it's so it's so fun to create something that can create a feeling uh um create a feeling for like the person that is watching this yeah mm -hmm. um i feel like you're not reacting as much as something that is like a, a text or an image but if you're watching a movie you can really feel something uh like similar to when you're listening to something mm -hmm. uh so just like making people being entertained or inspired right. or something but uh, from the content that I'm doing. Um, I think that's what really made me focus on um, on video and wanted me to like become a video creator instead. That's awesome. It's kind of all about that emotional grab and yeah. connection and that you can create through video. That, that's mm. why we love it is being able to add that human element and really make it feel real for somebody. Yeah, it's yeah. visual storytelling. Yeah, I think some people don't really, uh, they can't really connect with uh, writing or reading like a blog or a, a book. <clears throat> Some people don't really mm. connect with photo when they see it moving right. and they see action behind that. It's mm. totally different. Videos sculpting everything. So, um, what, yeah. what, did you say something? You were saying something? No, no, it's just, um, it's just so many elements at the same time. It's yeah. like, it's the visuals and it's the audio and like putting everything together yeah. and you can put graphic on top of that. So yeah, it's, really it's cool. just a full experience. I yeah, feel. it is. I have, I have one more for you. Um, when we when we talk about um, like content creators today, everybody has an iPhone. Uh, phones mm -hmm. are to the point where they can they can document, and create really good video. What would you tell somebody that's kind of going down this journey or starting the journey of content creation, and they want to they want to vlog, want to be a YouTube influencer that everybody they're, they're seeing their idols look up to? What would you mm -hmm. recommend? 
what would you tell somebody just starting out in the content creation path? I think it's the same thing that I would tell myself when I was starting out. Uh, and it's that not focus only on the gear, but yeah. actually focus on what story you want to tell. Uh, and I think it's so much, uh, I, th I think it's so much storytelling when it comes to video and like, how do you want the, the viewer to feel when they are watching this? So it's not as much about like the quality in the beginning, uh, the production quality, but it's actually about like, how do you make them feel when they watch this and what do you want yeah. to communicate with this video? So I think it's easy to get stuck in like technical equipment and it is it's very yeah so yeah. i i think definitely focus more more on that and that's something that you can do if you have a dslr or an iphone or whatever oh, eli talks about it a lot it's more the content than the quality it's like, yeah of course we all want the prettiest looking yep. the vid prettiest looking video with the best lighting mm. and the gear, but at the end of the day really people are just they're wanting yeah to listen to good content. Exactly. And what are you putting out? And Darius preached yeah. that too. Yeah. I would say it's, yeah. always about, it's, it's always about the archer, not the arrows. Oh, that's a good, yeah. Let's think about that. Exactly. So, um, or, yeah, that's good. What are you going to say? Nothing. You I was going to say it in like in video, like, okay. oh, it's, it's more the videographer, not the, the equipment. Yes, it is. Yeah, totally. Sure. I was going to say Yeah. yeah. The, the archer was good. Or they're back in the medieval times here. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Well, awesome. Um, we have a, so I kind of, how we wrap up our podcasts. Um, we do a lightning round, kind of just fire off some lightning questions your way mm -hmm. and then we'll wrap everything up with giving uh, you a chance to <coughs> tell people where they can find you and follow some of your content. So yeah. Cool. Uh, we'll yeah. So uh, in the midst of quarantine, what's your favorite mm -hmm. quarantine snack? Oh, uh, Everyone's got we just bought a couple of days ago. We bought uh, sour cream and ranch chips. That was really good. <laughs> I can recommend that. <laughs> Dang. Well, I'm going to start for you guys, but I'm down. All righty. Uh, what do we got here? Um, okay. Uh, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? Oh, um, that's a hard one. Uh, maybe be able to fly. Fly. Save okay. some uh, money on the flight tickets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> I'm allowed to fly. Yeah, fly. I want to be invisible. What was yours? Invisible? Mine was fly. I think I'm on the same time. Invisible. Hmm. Um, uh, Hollywood made a movie about yourself. Who would you want the lead role to be? Oh. Um, I mean, it, it could be an actor from Sweden. Too. Yeah, it could I, I don't be... know any actors from Sweden myself, but. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's Gary Vee. Maybe it's D-Rock. I don't know. Why do you... <laughs> it's a hard one. Yeah, maybe D-Rock is a good option, actually. D-Rock or, or Justin Adisha, maybe. Oh, okay. <laughs> what would you say? Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn? That was quick. You had that already. Yeah, dude. All his movies, his personality. We, we should be Vince Vaughn. Vince right. Vaughn. That's dude. pretty close. Do you know who Vince Vaughn is, David? Vince Vaughn. Uh, I recognize the name. But yeah. 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 Still. I don't see that picture well, in front of me. You watch his movies. That's who I am. Yeah, I think Jim Carrey. Right. Yeah, I mean, you kind of, kind of look like him. I do. I know. I love him. <laughs> okay, uh, we got one more for you, and then and then we'll wrap this thing up. Uh, yep. uh, yeah. Uh, well, no. Uh, last app you downloaded. There you go. Love it. Uh, last app. Uh, I think. <laughs> I think it was uh, Elevate. Was the last one. Um, oh. My uh, sister gave me. Uh, recommendation to to download that and to practice English and the math on like okay. a regular basis. Oh, cool! And uh, Very yeah, cool. that that's what, something I want to develop. And they are they are really good at like gamification. So yeah. it basically uh, oh, no. it feels like you're playing a game, but you're sure. also learning English. So that for sure, that's really cool. Awesome. Well, David, yeah. where can uh, where can people find you at? Social handles. Um, Blog, yeah. yeah. Um, just search for David Lindgren 89. I have the same handle on every platform. So it's okay, perfect. pretty simple. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect, man. Well, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate your time and kind of letting us know yeah, no about you and share your experiences and kind of where you're heading. 
So we'll uh, make sure to be pushing this on our YouTube channel as well. It's at Biz Bros for all of you out there that haven't followed us yet. And our Instagram as well, at biz.bros. You can find this podcast on anywhere. Podcast. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Thank you guys. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah.